Wheel pants are awful. I'm gonna give you five reasons why you should not install wheel pants on your experimental aircraft. There's actually about a hundred reasons why they suck, but I'm only gonna give you the top five. First of all, who came up with that name? They should be called wheel shoes, if anything, because the gear leg would be the pants, the wheel pants should be the wheel shoes. Second, look at this beautiful round shape. And aviation tires are expensive. You're just gonna cover that up with plastic? Third, speed. They say wheel pants add like 50 knots. So you get to your destination faster. That means you get to do less flying. I thought you liked flying. What are you doing? You're gonna spend two months or more on the ground installing these stupid things only so you can fly less in the air? And number five, it's a health issue. Good luck with that back problem you've been having. It ain't gonna help spending two months on the shop floor. And yet here I am like a chump getting ready to install some wheel pants. Thankfully, I've already done a month and a half of work on these dumb things. And theoretically, all I have left to do is to clico them in place, see if the clearances are still good, add some fasteners and finish and paint them. I suspect it'll take another month. So first things first, I gotta go pull out my wheel pants and clico them in place and see if they still fit. Let's go. If you haven't used clicos before, they're pretty neat and I'm gonna show you how they work. A clico is a little device with a spring-loaded arm on the inside. You can use it to hold two materials together by using a pair of clico pliers and squeezing. It narrows the arm, letting it go through a hole, and when you release the clico pliers, it grabs the two materials together and holds them tight. I forgot that there was a bolt that has to go on the outside, so I had forgotten what length it was. Let's bring out the old Venom bolts. I would say there's pretty good clearance on this side. I can get my finger in the gap between the wheel and the wheel pan. Is that a good metric? I hope so. Now what I need to do is install four quarter turn fasteners per wheel pan. The back side of the flange is attached to the gear leg and the rest of the shell attaches to the back side flange via four quarter turn fasteners, or at least that's how I designed mine. The way quarter turn fasteners work is you have this receptacle that the fastener goes through. This is attached to the back side of whatever you're attaching. Into the receptacle goes the quarter turn fastener itself. Instead of a screw, it's got two little wings that fit into a slot and turn a quarter of the way. The way they get installed is with this drill template. So you saw the Clecos earlier. Those indicate pilot holes for the drill template. And so what I need to do is attach this with a Cleco, drill the outer two holes, and then that will line up the, the wing holes on the receptacle and I can rivet this into place. So I'll be using this pop rivet. You can see that it has a tapered fitting on the top because when the rivet goes through this flange, it needs to sit flush with the surface because the other surface sits flush against it. To get to that cone shape, we use this little spinny do. It's a device with a tapered head cutter there on the end and you sit there and flip it around and it cuts you a nice tapered hole on the top. This is the fastener and the fastener with this washer makes about a 15, 30 seconds hole. And so I need to open up the center hole to 15, 30 seconds. And I do that with a Christmas tree bit and I just use a Sharpie to mark the, uh, the step that I'm going to. Okay, so now we've got all of our inner holes done. All we have to do is put, put this pop rivet through the inner part of the flange and then through the receptacle and then squeeze it tight. Okay, so all that's left is to open up the outer flange to 15, 30 seconds and then we can test our fitting. Now to hold this in place, on the back side, there's a lip and a snap ring that goes over and, and press down. I think there was a tool to install this, but uh, I lost it, so I'm gonna have to improvise here.
One down, eight to go. Okay, so now I want to attach the back plate to my mounting plate using two AN3 washer head screws. Uh, but first I need to drill out the eighth inch Clico holes that I had on the uh, mounting plate. There you go. I got one wheel pant installed with fasteners. I just have to repeat for the other side. Ugh. I might call it a night and try again tomorrow. Well, I persevered and through the power of movie magic, now both my wheel pants are attached with fasteners. So thanks for joining me on this one, guys. If you like my content, don't forget to subscribe and maybe check out this video here. On the next one, I will be finishing and sanding and painting the wheel pants. See you on the next one.